Hey everybody, welcome back to a long overdue YouTube video with me here at Wet Pets and Pals. For those of you who don't know, my name is Dave and I am the owner of a pretty cool aquatic pet shop in Port Clinton, Ohio. Um, one of the things that we've started to do over the last few months, you guys, is we started working on large aquariums, commercial aquariums, saltwater aquariums, and I can't wait to show you guys the one that we're doing right now. This is at a school in Mansfield, Ohio called Buckeye Community. It's a pretty cool school, pretty unique school. And you can see, you know, school's out for the summer. Um, but I can't wait to show you guys this tank. It is a 500 gallon reef tank with all the goodies and gadgets. There's some equipment in here that's not running, some things that aren't working, some lights that we've already taken and replaced over the last uh, few visits. Um, and I have my son Jace with me today, so stick around guys. I'm gonna show you this tank and we'll do some updates on what we're doing and what we got going on. And you know, I'd love to hear from you guys on, on um, some things that you would do differently and uh, maybe some things that I might be doing wrong that you might be able to point me in a better direction. So stay tuned, check out these tanks. All right, you guys, as you can see, this is a rather large aquarium. Um, it's been neglected for quite some time. We've been doing some water changes. We've adjusted light schedules, um, trying to figure out feeding schedules and stuff like that, because this side's already been somewhat wiped. As you can see, this side is pretty rough. To give you an idea on how big it is my son is 5'10 5'11 and so for today what we're going to do with this tank is we're going to wipe the algae off really really well um, as a as we're wiping the algae off and all the deposits and stuff as you can see the little white spots everywhere we've been slowly getting those off We've just been trying to vacuum the tank, suck out as much debris as we can. The protein skimmer on this is broke. So when I plug this in, it looks like the seals on it might be shot. But when I plug it in, it fills up, runs the way that it needs to. Um, and then all of a sudden, it just starts leaking everywhere and I pulled it off it looks like there's a plastic ring on the bottom of this and that plastic ring looks like it might be cracked or broke um, so it's not really doing anything but draining water back into the tank and we let it run like this once before the last time we were here just to see what it would do and it filled the whole inside of this up with crap um, I'll be honest, um, if this was my tank build, my personal tank build, I don't think I would have all of, I mean, there's just some really nice stuff in here, but I don't think I would be running all of this stuff. I honestly think that I would have found a way, because at the other school, the cylinder tank that I'm doing, I made that as easy as possible to maintain as easy as possible to maintain to where like if something was to happen with me or I was just unable to do it any longer the school would still be able to take care of it themselves so that's what we're working on with them so you can see we've another light that's not working I don't know if it's just blown I've already taken one out and replaced it and fixed it I gotta bring it back and get it put back on but Man, this thing is just a doo-doo. 
So we're gonna set this up on a time lapse back here, guys, and we're just gonna go ahead and work on cleaning the tank and we'll go from there. So enjoy this time lapse. Okay, um, that time lapse is a little blurry, but I'll show you guys one of the things that I found. So this is a Quantum Neos 300, I do believe. And I think I figured out why this thing wasn't, um, oops, there's spilled stuff all over the floor here. But if you notice, there's a big chunk of this thing missing right here. So I think that's where that water was leaking out of. I don't know if that's fixable or if I can just order a, a new top. I'll have to look into that, um, but getting this protein skimmer back up and running is important for the corals and all the other crap that's going on in here. Um, get my mess cleaned up right there. So we're going to be looking into getting that replaced. We got a couple lights to replace. Um, it's actually a pretty cool room they got set up here. This is where all the magic happens um right now i'm they told me they had water mixed up i don't know what that is but that's nasty looking and i wouldn't put that anywhere near a fish tank um this is some ro water that was made which is nice but what i would like to see with ro water is keep it covered and then everything else that's in and this stuff, I have no clue what this is. I don't know what that is. It's, it tastes like salt water. But we're going to get rid of that. Um, so I'd like to see this room cleaned up. There's a lot of really cool stuff in here. But man, I have no clue what they were actually trying to accomplish. Whoever was doing this before me. So... We're going to go ahead and we're mixing, I believe that's like three or 400 gallons, 300 gallons. So I'm mixing up 300 gallons of salt right now. We're going to do a big water change on this tank out here. And then hopefully, like I said, with those weekly visits, um, be able to get all this put back together. So let's get back to some time lapse of Jace and then we'll go from there. We have now removed the sump out of the enclosure down here for the protein skimmer. Um, we're going to go ahead and take that and either get a replacement lid or just get a replacement sump. Um, we did add a little more live sand to the bottom of the tank because there was way too many bare spots down here. Um, you could see. We still have a lot of algae on the bottoms. Um, we, we're gonna have to get something a little longer to reach down there and, and clean down there because what we have just doesn't work. And then we spent another majority of the time, so you guys were watching that tank time lapse for no reason over there. Um, we spent another majority of the time cleaning and organizing this room so now everything is where it needs to go so we've got the four stage uh, ro system up there and this is ro water and this is salt water salt water is mixed 1.025 which is nice um they use these trash cans for who knows what nothing that i need them for other than you know filling up the ro system which i'm gonna get them another pump that we can use to just set down in there and they can walk the hose if they didn't want to walk five gallon buckets when I'm not here to top that system off. Uh, but yeah, everything's cleaned. We are buttoned it up. Tank's gonna be a little cloudy. 
because we did add some new rock or some new live sand. Um, but, uh, but, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for today. Um, we have one more little maintenance job and we'll tag you guys along with that one. So we'll see you guys in a little bit uh, and we're out from Mansfield. Peace. All right, everybody. So we got here um, and we already did all of the maintenance that we needed to do on this tank. I forgot to hit the record button on the phone here. Um, one of the things we did today here was we did a about a 30% water change. Um, and let me back up a little bit. There we go. About a 35% water change, 30% water change. But we also serviced the two FX6 filters that are under here as well. We added some new media, um, cleaned out the sponges, uh, things like that, of that nature. And got them both back up and operational. This is a 200 and I believe 20 or 40, 240 gallon fish tank. It's a pretty nice size fish tank here. Um, it is stocked with two Oscars. Um, there are also some large mouth hats in here. Um, those are a Victorian cichlid. There is also a couple um, polar parrots in here. I do believe um, there's some garamis in there. The garamis were added by the customer as well as a couple of the other fish that are in here. Um, we did stock it with the, um, you can see him poking his head out in there. We did stock them with the Red Jewels and the Oscars. Um, we also put in there, I believe, at one point, two Severums and there was a marbled Finistratus slash Vieja um, cross in there as well. So, um, but the rest of the fish in here are are from the customers. So as you can see, everyone has a ton of room in there. The little center area acts kind of like a little reef for the smaller guys to hang out whenever they're feeling threatened from the Oscars. Uh, but for the most part, the Oscars are pretty passive aggressive. They don't really mess with anything in there. But that's it for today, you guys. Um, it is, I don't know, close to three, four o'clock, somewhere in there. So it's been a long day for us. We've been on the road since 7.30 this morning. We are going to finish topping this tank off, roll these hoses up, wipe this thing off, and we are going to head home for the day. Miss you guys, and uh, we'll talk to you guys later.